Assalamu alaikum, beautiful people. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's interesting episode, we're going to learn about another great woman in Islam. She was a woman of courage, determination, piety, and purity. Doesn't she sound like a beautiful role model? Are you excited to find out who she is? Well, I'll give you a clue and let's see if you can guess. This beautiful woman was married to a very arrogant man who refused to believe in Allah. He was very wealthy. Have you guessed it yet? She is none other than Asiya. May Allah be pleased with her. Even though she was married to a man who denied the message sent by Allah through Prophet Musa and he hated her believing in Islam, she fought against everything, accepted the true message and worshipped Allah alone. Because of her piety and purity, she received a very special reward and honor from Allah. Do you know what it is? Prophet Muhammad wasallam describes her as one of the four most pious women in the world and will be one of the first to enter paradise. Subhanallah! Isn't that a great honor? Imagine being one of the first people to step into Jannah, a place of never-ending happiness and joy. She is indeed a great role model to women all around the world. So, do you know who her husband was? You might have heard of his name. Asya, may Allah be pleased with her, was the wife of the Egyptian pharaoh, Pharaoh, who ruled Egypt in ancient times. Pharaoh was a tyrant king who tortured and killed innocent people because he claimed to be a god. Astaghfirullah. If they believed in anything else, he would crucify them. Everyone was frightened of him for this very reason. So, how did Asya live with such a man? Was Asya like him? Asya, may Allah be pleased with her, was a beautiful and gentle queen who had a very good heart. She cared for everyone around her and was a compassionate queen. Even though she was a queen and her palace was filled with gold and jewels, she had no pride or arrogance. She was a very caring woman. One day, the helpers of Asya, may Allah be pleased with her, found a cradle floating in the Nile River. They brought it over to her, and when they opened the cradle, there was a baby inside it. It was the most beautiful one she had ever seen. This made her immediately fall in love with the baby. Her heart was filled with happiness and extreme joy. But who was the baby? This baby was none other than Musa, alayhi salam. But little did Asya, may Allah be pleased with her, know that this little baby boy would grow up to be a prophet who would guide the people to the oneness of Allah. Yet, because of the humility and compassion of Asya, she was chosen by Allah to look after little Musa, alayhi salam. Meanwhile, Pharaoh was killing all the baby boys in his kingdom because he did not want Musa to be alive. He wanted people to worship him. But when Allah decides to protect a person, no one can harm him. And hence, he protected little Musa and chose Asya to call for him. She loved him dearly and did not let Pharaoh do anything to baby Musa. So, how did Musa السلام, grow up in the palace of Pharaoh, a man who actually wanted to kill him? Well... While Pharaoh killed all the baby boys in his kingdom, he didn't know that this 
baby was a prophet sent by Allah. Pharaoh loved Asiyah, may Allah be pleased with her, so much that he would fulfill any wish of hers. So she pleaded for him not to kill the little baby boy that she had found in the river. She said, A comfort to the eye for me and for you. Kill him not. Perhaps he may be of benefit to us, or we may adopt him as a son. As years passed by, Prophet Musa السلام, started calling the people to Allah's oneness. At first, only very few people followed him because many feared the Pharaoh and his torture. They were frightened that if Pharaoh found out that they believed in Allah, he would kill them. One day, the news reached Asya. May Allah be pleased with her. She came to know about Musa's salam's new religion. How did she react? She understood his message, and her heart started to believe it, and she felt at peace with it. Her heart knew that this was the truth, and soon she accepted that Allah is the only God. For many years, she kept her faith a secret and worshipped Allah under the guidance of Prophet Musa. Imagine the amount of fear she must have had living under Pharaoh, a man who would end her life if he came to know that his own wife accepted Islam. It is frightening, isn't it? But slowly, as days passed, she became stronger. Allah gave her strength and courage, and she was not afraid anymore. Her secret was finally disclosed, and the Pharaoh came to know that his own wife had accepted Musa salam's message. He tried to lead her astray and persuaded her not to believe in Allah many, many times. But her belief just grew stronger and stronger every day. She refused to accept any other God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even though she had everything she wished for, a huge palace, many helpers, and mountains of gold and money, she turned away from worldly pleasures, her throne, freedom, and even gave away her status as a queen. She did not like any of those things because she wanted Allah's pleasure and Jannah, a place of eternal happiness. She was a pious woman who truly believed in Allah and continued to worship Him despite Pharaoh's cruelty towards Muslims. Pharaoh could not handle this. He was so angry with his wife Asya. He arrested her and tortured her for three days under the scorching sun. Yet, despite all the hardships, she still said, I reject you and do not want anything to do with you. And in her final moments, Pharaoh began to brutally torture her. He hurt her so much that she was on the verge of death. But at that moment, something strange happened. Asya smiled. Subhanallah! How did she smile despite all the pain? She was going through one of the most severe hardships any human being could experience, and yet she smiled. How is that, that she could be tortured but still smile? This was indeed the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wife of Pharaoh was tortured under the sun every day, and when he finished torturing her, the angels would surround her and shade her with their wings. She was shown her house in Jannah, 
and she smiled. When Pharaoh saw Asya smiling, he was frustrated and confused. He used to say, Look how crazy she is. And then she made this dua. My Lord, build for me near you a house in paradise. How beautiful is that dua. Shall we all try to memorize and recite it every day? Don't you want a house in paradise too? Imagine a house in paradise made of pearls and diamonds and meeting Allah, being with all the prophets and angels. Insha'Allah. Do you know what's so special about this dua? In this dunya, when we are searching for a house, we make sure that we have good neighbors around us, don't we? When Asya, may Allah be pleased with her, made this dua, she said, built for me near you. She made sure she had the best of all neighbors. She wanted Allah, the best of protectors and guardians next to her. So, what do we learn from the story of Asya? May Allah be pleased with her. Her beautiful character teaches us many things. Most importantly, she taught us that even if no one in this world supports us, we have Allah as our companion and protector. He is the one who loves us more than anyone else. And he will never, ever let us down. He surely hears our prayers. She went through intense bullying and hardship. Pharaoh tortured her with hurtful words and beat her. She was bullied emotionally and physically to such an extent that she couldn't take it anymore. Yet, she did not lose hope. Isn't she truly an inspiring and strong woman? Look at her faith. Her love for her Lord and religion was so great that she gave up all material wealth and status. But for that sacrifice, she received the gift of Jannah, a gift better than all this world. She rejected the Pharaoh and was firm about her belief. She is so inspiring that the Qur'an sets her as an example for all believers in the world. Sometimes it gets hard to do the right thing and there may be a lot of things in the world that are taking us away from the worship of Allah. But we must remember Asya and her piety. We must recall how she was so patient and firm in her belief. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode on the beautiful woman, Asya alayhi salam. May Allah guide us to protect our hearts, guard our chastity, and always stay firm in our belief. Hope you all enjoyed this episode and learned about one of the greatest women in the history of Islam. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends to earn many more rewards, inshallah. See you all with another story very soon, inshallah.